While insulin is a life-saving medicine for people with diabetes, it's also a constraint. Maintaining correct insulin management and keeping up with injections several times a day requires a lot of rigor and motivation. On top of that, insulin is very sensitive to heat and light and must be stored accordingly. Surveys show that most diabetics don't store their insulin correctly. Unfortunately, bad storage conditions lead to insulin losing its potency and uncontrolled blood sugar. So, how exactly should you store your insulin at home? When does it need to be refrigerated and when does it not? Let's dive into it and learn all about insulin storage, refrigeration, transportation and more. What is insulin? Insulin is a hormone used to treat diabetes. It regulates the amount of glucose in the blood. It's produced by the islets of Langerhans cells in the pancreas. People diagnosed with diabetes need insulin injections when their pancreas does not produce enough or no insulin. In that case, animal-derived or synthetic forms of insulin are prescribed. There are two main types of insulin, fast-acting insulin that acts on after-meal blood glucose and long-acting insulin that keeps the levels within the range between meals and overnight. Basal insulin is usually administered once or twice a day. Common brands of basal insulin sold in the US are NPH insulin, Lantis, Tugeo and Basaglar, as well as Livermere and Traceba. Bolus insulin is injected before, during or after meals that contain carbohydrates or sugars. Common brands are Novolog, Fiasp, Humalog, Apidra, as well as Novolin R and Humalin R. Whether fast-acting or long-acting, insulin is administered via manual subcutaneous injections or insulin pumps. It's delivered in different containers, including vials, auto-injectable pens or cartridges. Does insulin need to be refrigerated? All insulins must be refrigerated, irrespective of their types and containers. But let's zoom in to understand why and how you should refrigerate your insulin. All manufacturers of insulin brands sold in the US recommend that insulin be refrigerated. That's because the hormone is highly sensitive to high temperatures and temperature fluctuations. Insulin belongs to the class of biological drugs. They are human-made proteins that contain parts of living organisms. As such, insulin is very sensitive to heat, temperature fluctuations and light exposure. Room temperature breaks down the protein and destroys it. So, just like a steak would go bad if left unrefrigerated, insulin will too. That's why, whether you're using Lantus, Novolog, Humalog, Basaglar or others, you must keep your insulin vials, pens or cartridges in the refrigerator before first use. At what temperatures must insulin be refrigerated? Insulin isn't the only medicine that needs refrigeration. Other biologics used for diabetes, like Ozempec, Trulicity or Victoza, and unstable drugs require refrigeration to stay active and effective. But what does refrigeration mean? What temperatures are we referring to? If you've been prescribed insulin for your diabetes management, you must make sure your home fridge is set at the right temperature range and offers the best storage conditions. The rule of thumb is that insulin must be refrigerated between 36 and 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Be careful that the temperature does not drop below 36 degrees Fahrenheit because freezing could also deteriorate insulin. We recommend that insulin-dependent patients check the refrigerator's temperature regularly. Some choose to use a connected thermometer that sends an alarm whenever the refrigerator temperature goes outside the desired range. How long does insulin last in the fridge? Unopened insulin adequately stored at fridge temperature lasts until the expiration date on the package. All insulin pens, vials and cartridges have an official expiration date labeled by their manufacturer. It's usually about one year after the purchase date, but always double check. If you can't find it, ask your pharmacist for help. Past this expiration date, your insulin becomes unstable and unsuitable for use. Therefore, it's considered expired, even if it has never been opened and is always kept in the fridge. Expired insulin is not safe for use. It may have lost all or part of its effectiveness, using it may lead to high blood sugar levels and severe health complications. Bear in mind that insulin has two expiration dates, the one labeled on the container and the one that occurs after it's been opened or taken out of the fridge. For more detailed information on the expiration date of insulin, please check the article listed below in the description of this video. Does insulin need to be refrigerated after opening? No, insulin does not need to be refrigerated after opening. Once you've opened and punctured a vial or used a preloaded pen, you can keep it at room temperature. 
You may re-refrigerate insulin after opening if it's too warm inside your home, for example, but understand that it won't prolong its lifespan. Insulin that's been opened or taken out of the fridge must be used within about a month. What happens if insulin is not refrigerated? Insulin refrigeration is a rigorous requirement that all insulin-dependent diabetics have to deal with. Fortunately, there is some room for maneuver here, as insulin does not go bad immediately if not refrigerated. Most of them can be safely left outside of the fridge for about a month, so let's look deeper into what exactly happens when you leave your insulin unrefrigerated. Does insulin go bad if not refrigerated? Insulin can go bad if not refrigerated. Actually, insulin often goes bad. As said above, it's a very unstable medicine that heat can quickly deteriorate. Laboratory and clinical tests have shown that most insulins are stable at room temperature for about a month. If insulin is left unrefrigerated for more than a month, it starts deteriorating, going bad and losing potency. Is it safe to use insulin that's been out of the fridge for too long? Insulin that's been out of the fridge for more than a month is not safe for use anymore. While it won't poison you or make you sick, the manufacturer can't guarantee its effectiveness. Simply put, using insulin that's been out of the fridge for too long is like injecting water. It just does not work or deliver its full potential. Unrefrigerated insulin that's gone bad or is inefficient won't lower your blood sugar. The main risk is hyperglycemia, which could ultimately lead to diabetic ketoacidosis or coma. How to tell if insulin has gone bad? The first thing that can indicate your insulin may be bad is time. We recommend always noting the opening date on your vials or pens of insulin, as well as the date you first took them out of the fridge if they're not the same. About one month after that day, your insulin will start deteriorating. So you should stop using it and get a new one from the fridge. Visual inspection can also help you notice bad insulin. Most insulins are water-like, clear, colorless liquids. Therefore, any change in color, cloudiness, clumps, strings or frost inside can indicate your insulin has gone bad. However, note that some insulins, like isophane insulins, are normally cloudy. Unusual high blood sugar or difficulty lowering your glycemia can also be a sign that you're using bad insulin. In any case, when in doubt, throw it out. What to do with expired insulin? There are three main scenarios where insulin expires. When its expiration date has passed, when it's been out of the fridge for more than a month, or when it's been exposed to temperatures over 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Whatever the reason, expired insulin should never be injected. Immediately dispose of vials, pens, or cartridges that are unsafe for use. According to the US Food and Drug Administration, expired insulin can be thrown into household trash. However, we recommend removing it from its original container and mixing it with unpleasant substances to make it unattractive to children and pets. Sharps, like needles and syringes, used for insulin injections must be disposed of in sharps containers. How long can insulin be kept out of the fridge? While insulin must be refrigerated when not in use, it can be stored at room temperature for about a month once opened or out of the fridge. However, leaving insulin unrefrigerated still requires some storage precautions, including protecting it from heat and keeping track of its expiration. So let's explore how long exactly you can leave your insulin out of the fridge and what you should do to protect it in the meantime. How long can insulin be kept at room temperature? As a rule of thumb, insulin can be kept at room temperature for about a month. However, insulin that's been mixed, diluted, removed from its original container or altered in any way should be discarded within a maximum of two weeks if unrefrigerated. By room temperature, we mean anything between 56 and 79 degrees Fahrenheit. It means that while you can keep your insulin out of the fridge for a while, you must still protect it from high heat and ensure it's never exposed to temperatures over 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, people living with insulin-dependent diabetes are recommended to use an insulin cooler when living in or traveling to places where the weather gets warm. How long can insulin be unrefrigerated? As said above, the average time insulin can be unrefrigerated is one month. But there are slight variations depending on the type and brand of insulin you've been prescribed. Here are examples of how long the most common brands of insulin can stay out of the fridge without deteriorating. Lantus can be unrefrigerated for up to 28 days. Novolog can be unrefrigerated for up to 28 days. Humalog can be unrefrigerated for up to 28 days. Humulin can be unrefrigerated for up to 31 days. Apidra can be unrefrigerated for up to 28 days. Novolin N can be unrefrigerated for up to 42 days. 
Levermere can be unrefrigerated for up to 42 days. Chrysiba can be unrefrigerated for up to 56 days. Tujeo can be unrefrigerated for up to 42 days. Basaglar can be unrefrigerated for up to 28 days. Fiasp can be unrefrigerated for up to 28 days. Always check the storage instructions in the paper or ask your doctor or diabetes nurse if your particular insulin has a shorter or a longer lifespan. What if insulin gets warm? Insulin can quickly deteriorate if it gets warm. Laboratory tests have shown that the peptide hormone loses effectiveness when exposed to extreme temperatures. Naturally, the longer the exposure, the more potency it loses. Situations where insulin may get warm are more frequent than you'd think, and carelessness may happen to anyone. For example, your insulin is not safe in the car on a sunny day, nor placed near the stove, or in your purse when the outside temperature is over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Insulin that's gotten warm is not safe to use anymore. Injecting it can result in high blood glucose and severe health complications. So, only use it in the case of an emergency and if you have no other choice, but always prefer getting a new vial or pen from your fridge or the nearest pharmacy. How to store insulin properly? We've learned the rules and now let's focus on practical tips to store insulin in the most optimal conditions. Always remember that paying extra attention to your insulin is well worth the pain. It can keep it more efficient for longer, which has a direct impact on both your blood glucose and your finances. Store unopened insulin in the fridge. As seen above, unopened insulin must always be stored in the fridge. Keep all your vials, pens and cartridges in your refrigerator as soon as you return from the pharmacy. Afterwards, only take a vial or a pen out of the fridge when you need to use it. Additionally, if your trip home from the pharmacy is longer than 30 minutes or the outside temperature is above 80 degrees Fahrenheit, we recommend using a medical cooler or a cooler bag to ensure the cold chain isn't disrupted. Where to store insulin in the refrigerator? There are a few more things to help ensure that your insulin is stored in optimal conditions inside your fridge. The fridge temperature should be as stable as possible. Avoid fluctuations. Do not jam-pack your refrigerator so air can circulate inside. Avoid keeping the door open for too long when taking something out of the fridge. Do not store the insulin near the freezer compartment, as it risks freezing, which isn't good either. Keep your insulin vials, pens and cartridges in the center of the fridge, where the temperature is the most stable. Avoid placing it on the bottom, sides or door shelves. Check your refrigerator's temperature often or consider using a smart thermometer. Store opened insulin at room temperature. Once you've taken an insulin container out of the fridge for the first time, you can store it at room temperature. You do not have to put it back in the fridge. It must be used within about a month. During that time out of the fridge, your insulin must be protected from high heat and never exposed to temperatures above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Use an insulin cooler if you're traveling. Because of its instability and rigorous storage instructions, traveling with insulin can be quite challenging. People with diabetes living in or traveling to places with warm weather are firmly advised to use good medical-grade travel coolers. The ones we offer at For All Family have been specially designed for insulin and other refrigerated medicines. They are highly reliable and can keep your stocks of opened insulin refrigerated or your in-use insulin cool and protected from the outside heat. We're the number one recommended brand in the US market. Protect insulin from light and breakage. Exposure to sunlight and indoor light may also deteriorate your insulin, so make sure to store it in dark places. If you're using insulin pens, keep the cap on. Last but not the least, insulin vials are made of thin glass and are incredibly fragile. Therefore, we recommend using a silicone vial protector to prevent any unfortunate accidents if dropped on the floor. We hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this video. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section. Stay cool and limitless.